This uh, short film is to show you how to do a frequency distribution histogram using Excel 2007. First thing you need is some data that you want to do the histogram of. Here it is. Just some numbers that I've made up from, from 1 to 12 and I've just put them in a column. The next thing to do is to decide how big your class intervals are going to be. Now, there's no law about this. But your general aim is to show the sort of shape of the data by plotting the frequency or the number of items of data that belong in each class. And I've decided um, to have six classes of equal size. My data runs from 1 to 12, and so uh, that means I'll have a class interval of 2. If it looks a bit strange at the end, try a different class interval. Live wildly. Um, if you don't specify what class interval you want, Excel has it for you in some mysterious way that it understands. But I'm going to specify mine. And the first thing you need to do to do that is to uh, give yourself a column, I call it class interval, right? and specify what the intervals are going to be. So you basically put the upper limit of each interval. So I'm going to have two, four. There we have my six equally sized class intervals. Okay, now uh, click data on the top toolbar here, and then click data analysis on the right of the ribbon there, and you'll find this list of stuff. At the bottom of the list, well, not, no, not at the bottom, halfway down the list, you'll find histogram. There it is, and then click OK. Now, I like to get rid of all this stuff before I start and then I don't get confused. Then click that one, labels, and click that one, chart output. So then put the cursor in the input range box and then tell it which data you want to use. So there we are, we highlight that data. That data highlighted. Then uh, put the cursor in the bin range output. Uh, Excel calls class intervals bins. And highlight that. Include the title uh, class intervals. Because if you do that, it will come out on the x axis of the graph. Then put the cursor in the output range uh, box. So there, look. And tell it where you want the output to be printed. So I'll have it here. And then click OK. And there we have histogram, class interval, and frequency. I get rid of that now because you don't need two of those. It's just being greedy having two tables like that, isn't it? So there we are. Uh, I also don't like that, so I get rid of that as well just by clicking and deleting. And then you need to put your actual title in, not just histogram, whatever it is. Just click on the box and fill it in. and size it as you want it and there you are that's how it's done easy peasy but it takes quite a long while to work it out so if you found this useful please tell your friends and visit the Dale Ford blog for all sorts of other interesting stuff that isn't necessarily about statistics thank you very much